Hey, what's up everybody? It's George Kipp, Forestry GIS Specialist, and this video is going to build on the previous video, and we're going to discuss a few more editing tips and tricks that you may encounter in your workflows when you're, uh, particularly your state line workflows when you're delineating stands off of a compartment. As you can see, I've actually uh, gone ahead and uh, clipped a few more stands out over here on the east side of this compartment. And uh, what we're going to uh, go over first is how to correct, you know, some kind of like simple mistakes. One of the most common mistakes that happens is if you uh, accidentally, you know, make a stand or after a field inventory decide that one stand should be merged into another. For example, here we have uh, stands one and stands three. After a field inventory, we'll, we go out and we determine that these should be managed similarly. In this case, there will be a prescribed fire unit. So we don't want to segregate them. In fact, we want to combine them into one stand. And that will be an operation called merge. Now, if you haven't already, uh, we're going to go ahead and start an editing session, which you do here in the editor toolbar. And quick review, if you don't see your editor toolbar, you can come up here to customize and toolbars and then click editor. So we've gone ahead and we already uh, started our editing session. So we're going to use the uh, select tool here. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, select the, uh, the main polygon and we're going to hold shift and select this one too. Uh, so you can see both of them are selected because they're highlighted in blue. Now what we want to do is we want to use an operation called merge. So as you can see from the help description, it merges two selected features into the same feature in the same feature class. So we're going to go ahead and select merge, and it asks us choose which feature will merge with the other, and this determines the attribute value that will stay the same. In this case, we actually want to just keep the uh, the attribute value of one, which would be stand one. So we're going to go ahead and leave stand one selected, and click OK. As you can see now, these are actually uh, it went ahead and merged that polygon and got rid of uh, stand three. Now another common editing workflow you, you may encounter when, when you're working in projects is uh, you see sometimes you need to reshape the edge of a polygon. And in this case, we can see from the topo map and the aerial map that the roads do not quite align. Uh, there's like a little bit right there that doesn't quite line up. So. What we're going to do is actually use a tool called Reshape Feature. First, I'm going to zoom in to that. I'm actually going to turn off the, the topo map. And we're going to zoom in on the aerial photo a little bit using this Zoom Tool feature. Now, when you're zooming in, you can make a zoom in box. You can either uh, do a single left click, and that will take you in. Or you can also, if you left click once and hold the mouse button down, left mouse button, and drag it, it'll make a little box and it'll zoom right to that box. As we can see, this doesn't quite line up with our uh, our, st our stand boundary. That road kind of curves around like that. And before we actually get to uh, reshaping the feature, I do want to point out one other handy uh, toolbar there, and that's the snapping toolbar. Okay. So what snapping is, is it's like a, a tolerance whereby if your mouse cursor is within a fixed distance, a, certain, a set distance called the snapping tolerance of a, an existing feature, it will automatically make those features coincident. So see if I click here and it's within the snapping distance, it'll actually automatically pull that. So in order for this to truly capture the road, I'm actually going to turn off snapping. And to do that, I just click them until they're no longer highlighted in blue. So now that we have our feature selected and we've turned off snapping, I'm going to go over here to this reshape feature tool. And with that, all I simply need to do is I just need to start editing my polygon here. As you can see, I'm just digitizing right where the row to be. And to finish, I just simply double click with the left mouse button. As you can see, it actually moved that, that row to where it, it should be. Okay. In another example, I'm going to talk about what's called a donut hole polygon or a multi part feature. You encounter this a lot in areas where you may have like water features or areas that you need to exclude from the, the polygon. 
so for this example, we're going to pretend that we're actually going to be uh, creating like a, an area of exclusion up here on top of Little Thorny Mountain. Uh, that'll, that'll be a wildlife preserve that won't be managed and subtracted from the acreage. Then to do that, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, just create, digitize a uh, general feature. And if you remember, we go to create features. And we select our feature template there, and we're going to use the polygon construction tool. Now, if you don't see the create features window, it's under here under the editor, under editing windows, and uh, the create features window. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select polygon, and we're actually going to just draw out a little polygon here up top. Okay, as you can see now, the, the polygon is actually, you know, it's created there. And let's open up the attribute table and have a look at what this polygon is. So as you can see here, uh, we have a general blank polygon that corresponds to our polygon here. But we don't, we actually want to get rid of that. We don't want that to be taken to the acreage. So we're going to use a, we're going to actually do, it's called a clip. So we go here under editor and we're going to clip that feature out. It's going to ask us a buffer distance, and that's if you want to, you know, buffer the edge of it. And for this example, we're actually going to discard the the area that intersects. So we're going to click OK to run that tool. And I'm going to go over here to the select tool again, and I'm actually going to right click on it, or you could also hit the delete key. And I'm just going to delete that. Now you can see that when we select our original polygon, this is to still stand one, although now it's actually has removed that part of that out of there. Well, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Always in trouble, need love on the double spin cake in a lifetime. Climbing to the level contract with the devil loophole. Expiration day on the side of good people always set the record straight.